Hi everybody and welcome back. Thanks for joining me today for this painting tutorial. I'm working on an 11 by 14 double primed and stretched canvas and I have the following colors. Mars black, burnt sienna, light olive green, sap green, dioxazine purple, cobalt blue, turquoise green, lemon yellow, and neon pink, and some titanium white. Check out the full list below this video in the description box. I start off with my number 30 filbert brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of white, pink, and yellow. And I'm just going to create some pretty sunset colors. And I'm going to come in with a little bit of blue and white, a little bit of purple, and I'm going to add some clouds. Just gentle little wiggles and sweeps. And then I'm going to add it down below as well for our horizon line. Picking up just a little bit of water so I can smooth this out. Pick up a little bit more of my pink, white, and yellow. I'll get a little bit more color. Just intensify the saturation in this sky a little bit more. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue and turquoise to my brush now. A little bit of white. I'm not going to over mix. And I'm just going to add a little bit of ocean back here in the distance. In a smaller brush, my flat brush, this is a one inch. I'm going to take some white and the peachy pink colors. And just soften. And I'll wiggle back into my yellow and pink. And I'm going to go right underneath that cloud. And 
go over to a small filbert brush. I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of purple. And I'm going to add a few little circles, little bumps on my clouds and soften with a little bit of white inside. This is going to make your clouds glow when you add layers like this. go over some of the streaks in the sky and bring them out a little bit more and then add some white I'm going to take a little bit of white, yellow, and pink, a little bit of burnt sienna, mix that in with my purple. And I'm going to bring it up. And then start creating these little loops. Almost like you could do little figure eights. Some water, a little bit of pink, a little bit more of the purple. I'm going to bring it high up right here so we create that bank. Take a little bit of blue and purple and add some cool shadows in here. And I'm going to add a little hint of a bank coming down on that side as well. And then these little scoops again. More blue, purple white and some water on my brush and just fill this area in make it darker here and we're going to start our flowers and grass from. Outline it just with some blue and purple. Clean brush, some white yellow and pink a 
we'll just add that peachy color to the sand. And I'll add a little bit on the water as well. And I want to add a little bit more color again to the sky. So by mixing a little bit of yellow and pink, I can get a nice bright orange color. Now I'm using a few neon paints and they're really bright, but you don't have to have these in order to paint along with me. Just use your brightest colors. Now I want to reflect a little bit of the sunset colors in the sand. I'm going to add a few more shadows here with my blue and purple. A little bit of turquoise as well. Not overly blending any one color. Turquoise is a really nice choice for some cool shadows. And I'm going to start coming in without washing my brush off. Green, purple, blue. A little bit of that light green in there is fine too. And we're just going to create a little patchy grassy area here. And I'm going to add a, a fence in here. A little burnt sienna in there as well. bring it up taller. I love those old leaning broken fences from the high winds and storms that you see. So that's why I'm leaning my boards, having them looking like they're falling over. You can make yours straight if you want. It's totally up to you.
And then I'm gonna add a little shadow. I think by adding a crooked fence like this, it makes it more dramatic and interesting. It can be a little bit scary if you've never painted before and you're just trying this for the first time. When we're first learning how to paint, we think we have to do everything straight and perfectly, but I tell you, when you start just letting go, trusting in yourself, and the paintbrush that's when you're really going to grow as an artist and lose yourself in it and really enjoy yourself Just add a few more there. Add just a little bit of a visibility on these ones by mixing a bit of white, blue, purple. And now I'm going to come in with some tall grass. I'm going to use my long liner brush for this. This is a number one by Princeton. I'm going to get my brush really wet and I'm going to take a mixture of burnt sienna, greens, a little bit of purple. Roll that around. Make sure you have enough water on your brush. Just add a few little sweeps here for those tall pieces of grass. Short little flicks. And come inside with a little bit of burnt sienna.
we'll have a few coming over from this side as well. Add a little bit of green in here. We'll add a few little pieces of grass. A little bit of black inside. Any dark color just to make it a little darker in there. few over here. These might even be a few palm leaves. Gonna switch over to a little flat brush here. Pull, create these gentle little sweeps. I'll get a little bit more paint on my brush. a little bit of purple inside.
I'll just add a few pieces of grass in here. Over this one a little bit darker. And I want to add just a little bit of a shadow. Not a lot of paint on my brush. Just some shadows down here. A little bit more purple. I'll just continue with the fence down here. So I'll go back over, clean brush, a little bit of pink and yellow. fence post right here. Two. <laughs> I'm going to take my yellow and pink. Little bit of color to the sky. I'm going to take a little bit of white and turquoise with a clean brush. Just add a little bit of a glow right there.
And now with my liner brush, I'm going to take some water, purple and burnt sienna. Just add a little bit of an old wire or thin board that goes through there. Bring this one up in front of that one. And have a little stem right here that I'm going to bring all the way up and have one coming up higher. And tap a little bit of black inside. I'm going to take just a little bit more of the cool yellow in with this. And a little bit of burnt sienna, just to warm this up. A little bit of blue and purple. A little bit of white. And as I finish up this painting, I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching, painting along. I want to wish you guys a wonderful day. Happy painting. I'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.